Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Um, been gone for a little while, having a really hard time getting back into the groove. Uh, catch you up just a quick moment. I had my surgery, my parathyroid surgery, and my daughter's wedding. And so now we're on the other side of both of those things. I'm extremely tired, and so I haven't been creating like I finished this so I could do the flip through this is our tabbed envelope journal uh, so I'm going to do a flip through for you here today and I'm hoping if I can just come in here and sit and play and just be in the space that will help me I'm just feeling really really tired and I have virtually no inspiration right now so uh, I think just everything's caught up with me in total so Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So I went ahead and put on this sorry uh, seam binding. I'm not sure if I like that color. We I might change it out. We'll see. Uh, the reason why I picked it was because I love this wax seal that I added onto one of my tabs. So you can see she's pretty chunky, um, and you know in terms of like width, like she's a pretty pretty much a gator mouth. But I love it so much. So. Uh, so here we have our first flip which is a tag and I just added a lace pocket on there and then um, a couple of little pieces of ephemera. I just backed this little image onto a piece of scrap and then this is, I don't know where I got this, it's just from another French uh, ephemera uh, kit on my computer. So we have that. I also added um, a rusty safety pin, a button, and some of that seam binding. So I'm going to try to move this a little bit closer so you guys can see. This was a part three or a three part series. So we did um, we did the making, the construction of it, um, one, two and three videos. So if you want to check it out, I just put a little flower here. Boy, still not close enough. There we go. Um, and I added just little bits of ephemera just to kind of spruce it up. I added this little bit of lace here. And this is coffee dyed lace that I, I did. Uh, it's in my stash. And then we've got a little pocket here. And this little gal, we made this on camera, I believe. And so that's pretty fun. She just slides right in there. And then over here, I did not put anything in this pocket. I figure this is a great pocket for whoever receives this or whatever purchases it can um, put their own things in there. It's a pretty nice big pocket. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then um, I did not put a pocket on this one, but I did take um, from my estate sale, um, uh, the stuff I got at the estate sale, my first estate sale, this is just some trim cut off of a piece of, of that. So that's pretty cute. I did realize after I did it that my the baby doll is now covered up. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, baby. And then we've got a pocket here, and we did this one, I believe. We also did this on camera. Forgive me if I'm wrong about that. I did do some work off camera, and then uh, we did some on, and it's just been a little while um, since we did that. Oh, I need to definitely ink that and finish the back of that. Goodness gracious. So there is that, and this is a piece of my own uh, original mixed media paper um, that I um, have done in the past. And so there we've got that, and then we've got a double pocket here. I used some of my age tape on this one. I always forget it, and I just um, revise my filing system for all of the things I want to kind of grab when I'm sitting here creating, and so it's been um, organized in a different way. So I have a little folder that has the age tape in it, but I just think it's so pretty. So pretty. Come on, focus. Anyway, you get the gist. So that sticks in that little pocket. I made this one off camera. I had made off camera, I'd made a master, couple master boards and I did take those master boards and created a bunch of the stuff that you're seeing now. Unfortunately, I will not be able to differentiate what I did with you and what I did from the master board. My apologies. So I love this. I actually have been taking the words and then like crunching them up, scrunching them up and bending them and then inking them so that they look a little bit more um, old and vintage-y. Um, and then this one I believe we did make on camera. I love this tag so much. So beautiful. So that goes in the other pocket. And then again, I uh, found this wax seal. And so I put a couple layers of lace under it. And that's on our little file folder tab uh, piece here. I just took a piece of ephemera. Again, I don't remember where I got this, um, but I just printed on the back of it. 
and uh, stuck it in the pocket there. And then we've got another tag. I did make this one off camera from the master boards. Just a really simple tag with a button on the top. And that just sits in here. You'd think this was a deep pocket. It's not, it only goes to here. So she just kind of sets right there, which I think is kind of cool. And then she flips open like this. And I didn't, I just wanted this to be visually pretty. Um, the recipient, whoever purchases it or whatever, could clip more things on here, could add a pocket if you wanted to. But I just love these images together. I believe these are both on the same collage sheet from Ruby and Pearl. Most of these papers are from Ruby and Pearl. So. And then we've got, I didn't put anything in this pocket. I thought, again, I would leave some for the recipient. And then we made, I made this tag. I can't remember if I did this one off camera or not, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, put a little bit of a paper clip and then a little dangle. I think that's so sweet. And it reminded me of me. I am allergic to cats, uh, very allergic to cats. But there's a lot of childhood photos where I'm holding cats. So I must have liked them. I don't remember. <laughs> so there we go. So let's close that up. And so then she flips like this. And then I took that same... Um, stuff that I got from the estate sale and I cut more off and I just love this kind of raggedy look. So I put it here and I also put it here off the edge of this uh, uh, tag. I just clipped another piece of ephemera in here because I did not add a pocket on this one. And then we've got this tag that I made from the master boards as well. I covered it with a little bit of lace, took some of that vintage lace and put it on the top and um, just called it a day there. And then in here we have, this is that my own, uh, it's a copy of one of my mixed media projects. Um, you can't see it under here. It's basically um, this design uh, on the inside as well. And so I wanted, I didn't want to cover it all, but I wanted to have a nice writing space. Goodness gracious, come on. I needed, wanted to have writing space, so I just glued some um, eco-dyed paper on the, um, the surface here, and so you can still get the essence of what's around it, but then that way that can be written on as well. And here we've got another, um, another pocket here, pretty deep and wide pocket, and I made this one out of the master board as well, and I just put a little, this is a beaded thing I already had in my stash, so I just added it to um, the top of that one with this um, coffee dyed lace like so and then this is our little butterfly window or door I just absolutely love that so inside here I took um, a rusty paper clip and I just clipped it here and this is just some I think I got this from Hobby Lobby this little uh, greenery and this is a tag I made from the master boards as well and I was, I was doing the master boards because I was really struggling with inspiration while I was making this whole project because I had just so much going on in my heart and mind that I was having trouble being inspired. But I added this. I just took a little bit of corrugated cardboard and a label and put it on the front of that. I covered this, added this pocket, covered it with some lace. I don't know if you guys can see that that is lace. I just love that delicate look. I think it's pretty cool. And then this is a tag I believe we made on camera as well. I printed some um, antique French checks. I believe these are from Taylor Made Journals, if I recall. And um, I just love them for writing space because you get this really antique vintage look um, on the front, but then you've got writing space on the back. So I think that's really, really cool. And then again, our tag. And then we close up those doors, and I just love how that turned out. Oh my gosh, I love it. And um, we left this just as it is, um, just because I think it's a beautiful thing to look at. And then this was a tag I think we made on camera, but this piece used to be on top of this or on the side of it, I can't remember. I had to trim it down in order to fit in this pocket, so I just re-glued it here, because this is a, just a really narrow, or not a very deep pocket there. So we'll stick that back in there. I should put something on the top of that, but I did not. Maybe I'll go back and do that. And then we flip this open like so, and we've got our CD pocket. And I just took a scrap of, um, I think this is from Sam Poole Designs, this, um, this image. And I just um, cut the circle out using my die cut machine and 
yeah and then just put the piece on there and then it's got a tag in the inside let me see if I can pull it out it looks like that just um, again from that master board I just took the last piece and did that so that just slides in here behind usually when I do CD envelopes I open up either the top or the side in order to get things in and out but this so this was a little different I this is actually a coffee dyed CD envelope so you can hear that crunch I love it when you close this you can hear it so I will definitely be doing that more so that was really lovely really simple I added this lace trim on the bottom and then um, and we left this as well so um, oh this is a pocket I forgot about this pocket I did not put anything in here so this is a pocket top loading pocket that the recipient or whoever I end up giving it to or selling it to can just use that for their own purposes and there we go and then we flip it over and we've got our big butterfly image and a tag inside of there and this I believe we made on camera together just a really cool vintagey um, tag with um, and then this is some I did a video where I took some lace and some gauze and I used texture paste and other mixed media mediums and created this beautiful, very different kind of um, textured bits. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully that will focus here in a second or maybe, maybe not. Anyway, it's got kind of a gloss to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got some gold in it, so it's pretty cool. And so that goes in this pocket here, and like so. And it seems like it's not going in all the way. I'll try that again. Well, maybe I'll have to work on that. Something's, something's holding it up there down at the bottom. There we go. And then nothing on the back here. I did make a pocket out of this and made a very tall tag, which I think is one of my favorite tags. So I just took this, this was part of the collage master board as well, and I just made her the focal point of this really tall tag. This is another one of those mixed media of lace. This is gold gesso that I put on top of that and let it dry. And so that's got a kind of a cool effect as well. And then I just put some lace on the bottom there, and it's just a really skinny tag that goes in here. So that is our the end of our three-part tag tabbed envelope journal. I absolutely loved this process. I will definitely be doing it again because it was very rewarding. I, I love the flip floppiness of it. I love the hingedness of it because it allows you to add things to it that you would not necessarily think of and I got to use some of my favorite papers which are the collections from Ruby and Pearl primarily so that is that so I thank you so much for stopping by thank you guys for your patience um, I need to get back on the channel it's struggling a lot but you know we can't do what we can't do and so I thank you for just hanging around and waiting and I hope to be back to my regular speed here um, in the future in the near future and if you haven't already checked out my studio tour video I hope that you will also check that out that's an annual video that I do so um, until then I will see you in the next video take care bye bye